everyone, it's Midlife Gamist, welcome to my channel and I am back in Arcade Legends and this week we got three new cabinets, ski wall cabinets, you've got Classic, Glow and Modern. Uh, it's paid DLC and it was just over £2 but the £2 get you all three of those tables. Um, you can see I've been quite busy. I've actually now maxed out as far as I can go on my reputation uh, Just collecting the currency, but I have been buying all of the items now So it's just the skeetball ones that I have to max out on and you can see I've maxed out at level 30 on the XP and I've still got 36,000 tickets to buy things, but I've actually now got all the items so let's go and have a look and see how my arcades changed overall it stayed pretty much the same um, I have now of course included oh look I missed the ball there <laughs> little sneak preview uh, I've now included the three new ski ball cabinets so we got classic we got modern and we have the neon so if you do all the neon um, cabinets like your uh, the basketball ones and fever pitch or hyper pitch fever pitch no one called it that then uh, that will tie in well but I thought it would be quite nice to put all three together and let's have a quick look at how they play so it's mainly the scoring that's that's a difference so and the balls they don't feel any different when you're throwing them. This one I find is the hardest one for some reason to get the highest scores. So the central, there we go. Yeah, so that, that the scores on that is um, is is just very low. <laughs> Whereas on this, these next two, the modern one, it's like in the thousands. So, oh, so close. There we go. So 4,000. So where it would have been 40, they put a few noughts on the end of it. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I was doing much better than this earlier. I should have recorded them. I knew it. There we go. So that's the modern one. 70 credits. 70 tickets for that. Oh, there we go. Has he got his eye in? No, he hasn't. Ooh. Oh! No, he's lost it. Come on. No. No. What's that? 19,000. So I've got 95 for that. Not quite sure how the tickets relate. So that's the three new tables. As I was saying, I've now maxed out everything. I've bought everything. So currently waiting. <laughs> Everything's out of stock. I've bought all the um, all the clothing, all the eye makeup, um, all the soundtracks as well. Oh, keep the tokens. I have been in contact with representatives of Lie Games um, regarding the future obviously they're going to be continuing adding in cabinets uh, one of my biggest bugbears is the amount of space you have so you can see I've maxed out 355 you can get 355 when you're supposed to get maximum of 350 and that's just careful juggling of certain cabinets is working out uh, the totals on cabinets and then if you take out one that takes you just under the 350 then one that 
you know some of the bigger ones you can put in the place so if you jiggle it about a bit this is the best setup that I've managed to get this is the most cabinets that I've managed to get in those 350 squares that you're allowed but they have told me that they are working on it and they're hoping that in a very near future DLC or update they are going to be able to allow us to expand and, and play more of the cabinets which would be absolutely fantastic because I'd, I'd love to have like wall-to-wall -wall cabinets I've been buying them in readiness so that uh, you'll see uh, I've got absolutely everything ready to go so that if they release more points I can play around have more cabinets and maybe you know make areas bigger but I'm absolutely loving it I'm semi addicted to it actually pretty much every day now I'm coming into coming into here playing a few games I, when I was um, chasing for the XP and credits I found this a really good way to do it I <laughs> set off because you could level up quite quickly by setting off a number of units. Oh, look, just missed. But the 250 is really good. So that, get, that gives you quite a lot of XP and obviously quite a lot of tickets to buy. So, so you can play multiple games. So that's why I've got these gambling ones quite close together. So you can just keep knocking the, knocking the XP out. Oh, 150, that's not too bad. Is it going to go? No, it's not going to make it to the 250. So, yes. And uh, I kept, I played. I, I lost my save. But uh, I did record with Clickster, and he gave me a very good tip. I've, <laughs> I've been battering the button, but he told me if you just hold it and use the trigger, <laughs> you can actually... I'm not doing it this time, but you can actually have more control over the so games like this one just just by holding the grip button over the uh, when you're over the actual machine button you can actually have more control and get better scores which I didn't prove there but so on any game that's about timing that is a really good tip so it does make it oh <laughs> slightly easier as he messes that up but on stacker stacker is the one that i noticed it the most on because i was always struggling mistiming Oh, nearly. But uh, I've never get up that high before. So any game that involves, um, you know, the uh, the skill in in stopping things at certain times, that that is a really good good tip by Clickster. And I thank him for that because he has actually uh, made me raise my game up a little bit. Oh no! So <laughs> on that one, didn't work quite so well. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, there you go. The three new ski ball cabinets. Lovely additions. Um, let me know in the comments what you would like to see yourself involved. I've heard uh, Whack a Mole requested, which again I put forward to the developers, and they quite like the idea of that. I'd love to see some sort of rhythm game, I think, uh, like Bongos or something, would be really quite cool and uh, maybe a shooting gallery so i can put it up here because that would work really well as well so thank you all for watching take care stay safe and i will see you all again soon in the next video take care bye bye